Hello everybody, and welcome back to Call of the Wild the Angler. Uh, it is a wonderful day here in the UK. Kind of not quite sunny, bit cloudy, but warm enough uh, and bright enough. Uh, and I am ready to jump in with some fishing, particularly for Zalgo. Uh, normally, oops, excuse me. Normally, when I fire up the angler. I have to come into this setting every time and turn it off. Today I didn't have to do that, and I'm not entirely certain why. Is it possible that Avalanche have actually fixed their game? It doesn't seem likely, but stranger things have happened. Anyway, we're going to hop right in here. Uh, oh no we're not, because there's one more setting I have to fix, which is the ambience volume. I think that's what I have it at set to. If it's too quiet, we can fix it on the fly. Right. Uh, you will recognize the location that we've been at for the last while. Uh, so we were fishing for uh, Zalga just down here. Uh, as you can see, I've moved a little bit upstream where there's this nice large uh, waterfall which has an interesting sort of mist a flat mist texture that is at about head height above the water so you can kind of see it's it's thinness which is a little weird uh oh i've now got myself stuck in a hole that's fine uh as you can also see it's a little bit late i've actually been playing this game uh a bit this morning uh partly to kill time and partly so that the uh, in-game clock would advance to somewhere that's a little better for catching Zalga. Uh, and you'll see that I've used up quite a lot of my different baits, so I don't have any red worm anymore, I don't have any leeches anymore, I used them all up. Uh, this is a bit of a tragedy in that I've been stood here surrounded by yellow perch, in fact I think that's one there. Uh, with nothing that they want to go for, because although they're supposed to, hang on, although they're supposed to go for leeches, uh, for red worms, sorry, uh, I've not been able to actually attract any. Uh, we're going to drop this in uh, just for a while while I sort of talk you through what we've been going through. Uh, so as you can see, I've got the mission top left to catch a Zalga. Uh, we've already caught one in the river, we now need to head to the lake to catch one. I don't know why it's in this order, when it's not in this order for any other quest. All the other quests so far have been... Uh, I'll come to that in a sec. All the other quests so far have been lake first and then river. Don't know why it's changed. Uh, what I have found here is... Uh, a fair number, you can see these are the last few bloodworms that I had. What I have found here is actually a fair number of channel catfish up in this bit. Um, it's nice to know that they're here. They remain almost impossible to actually like actively target and capture, which is a bit of a shame. I'm actually going to see if I can throw in a, a smaller hook with a minute on it. With the chance of catching either a catfish or a uh, bass, yeah. So they re they remain almost impossible to like actively target. But we've we've hooked a few from here. Uh, I still do not understand how a uh, six plus kilo catfish is supposed to be prey for a zalga that reaches like 0.6 of a kilo. I'm not confident the game hasn't got those two things the wrong way around, but we'll we'll let it be. Uh, today's primary goal, uh, once I've got bored of, of having this hook in the water, uh, will be to head back to, uh, wait, head back to, uh, excuse me map, the Ruby River Range outpost, uh, and then boat over to, or possibly drive over to, this uh, new waypoint and grab one from a lake. We have this. I still don't know why this is here. 
Like, it's not bad that it's here, but I don't understand why there's not a fish in area thing for any other location on the map. Like, I, I, I don't get that. Uh, it looks like the bass aren't biting, and we are imminently going to be in night time, so let's head on over. We are going to try some more jigging fishing, which may end up being a total disaster. Uh, oh, I've just fast traveled here, and I've just remembered there's not actually a shop here, is there? I find it weird that only one of the outposts has a shop. Um, I guess it kind of... oh, hell. I forgot something, hang on. <clears throat> Uh, I, I forgot there was one thing that I actually noticed. Uh, oh, I to here. One thing that I noticed um, before when I was around that I do actually want to go and pick up, which was there was a collectible here. And uh, we want to do this speedily. Because we are in that time imminently. Where the hell is it? It might be over the bridge. I did try going up uh, the top of a waterfall here, uh, and actually something interesting did happen when I did that. So I might show you that as well. It's collectible. Hello. Plan is to let these loose drive dry up, burn them down like hell's teeth. You've still got three quarters to go, so don't let up. So yes, sir. Um, <laughs> we're gonna let them dry up and then burn them. That, given the number of fire risk signs that have been around, is that really a good idea? Uh, anyway, so it, what I've established before in this game is that there is no fall damage, so you can jump off of the top of a. Oh, there's another collectible over here. You can jump off the top of a. Uh, Watchtower, lookout tower, and be perfectly chill afterwards, which is lovely. Well, Petrified trees. Keep you notified of visitors, yeah. Uh, so, this, as you can see, is a big old waterfall. Uh, and it turns out that if you fall off of it, you actually will effectively die, even though there's no full damage. You will die a like a long time before you would have hit the ground and still suffered no full damage, which is weird. But anyway, you can do that. That's a fun little thing that I discovered. Right, I need to super quickly get on over here to buy more bait for all the bait that I've used up. It's Sophia Taylor, Taylor's Tackles. I'm gonna grab another place. lot of liver. I'm gonna grab another lot of eggs because I use these two loads. Uh, these salmon eggs are so good you could eat them. Well, if I hadn't spent my time laboriously treating them for use as fish bait. <laughs> but they look delectable. Uh, and we're going to make sure we actually have loads and loads of minnows, leeches, and bloodworms because I use those all the time. They They're very successful. Adore these tasty little ribbon leeches. Such a versatile bait that they will ruin anything from walleyes to bass. Right. Let's go get in the boat. Uh, no, let's get in the car. Uh... Welcome to the drive-through. Won't it be? Hey, Clay. Gorgeous day out there. Not that I get to enjoy it much, but I feel a little gorgeous. Oh, you are. You're more than a little gorgeous, Clay. Aww. Where are we headed? We're headed up this road. Oop. Okay. This is a very low... Can we fit through here? Okay, I guess we can. Jesus Christ, though. I 
It's nice that fast traveling is a lot quicker and carries a lot fewer consequences than it does in the Hunter. Because like in the Hunter, once you fast travel, you know, you're not going to see anything for a good few minutes. Hello. Um. Just picking up all of the collectibles today, apparently. Oh, all that. Uh, in terms of stream quality, obviously stream quality has been a little rough lately. We are taking steps to get me a big old long ethernet cable which might improve things. Uh, do some other stuff just to kind of test out like what's good basically. Oh cool, that's the water. Oh no, whoops. Owie. <clears throat> What is this place? Prosperity Spring Ghost Town. Notice. Single lane winding dirt. Slippery when wet road ahead. Steep grades beyond 500 yards marker. Not recommended for motorhomes, buses or trailers. Use Highway 200 to access Prosperity Spring from the north on the improved roads. Danger. Look out for trucks. Oh, I'm sure we'll be fine. What the hell is this thing? I guess this is the old sign? Hmm. Right. We've reached the waypoint, now we have to catch Azalga. We are going to try and use the, the jigging for a while. Um, which is not my favourite thing to do. Oh hell, I can't think what they need. Tube, hook min, that one. Medium tube, there we go. Uh. Just yoink that out. I have no idea where the good place to do this is, but we're, we're just going to go for it. And let's hope I haven't lost my uh, jigging technique in however long it's been. Now I've tried jigging with this before. And the only thing I've hit with this setup has been largemouth bass. So I don't have lots of hope to grab Zalgo on this. But we're gonna give it a go, and I apologize for how stupid and sickness inducing this setup is. I'm doing my best, I promise. Uh, and I think we're going to try for the old 30 seconds to a minute and then move strat. Got nothing. Let's bring it back. And after we've tried jigging for a while, then we'll switch to minnows, which are what we're actually sort of supposed to be using. <laughs> Don't mind me just cra crashing around on my keyboard and stuff. Um, that's all good. Uh, actually, I should check my handbook. What does it say about Zalga? The channel cat oh, shut up, you. <laughs> uh, 
Large rivers with deep pools. That doesn't help. Let's see my game guide. The warmer and most shallow parts of any given water body. Okay, so maybe I'm actually looking too deep. Maybe 30 meters is too deep and I need something closer in. And continues to be the least reliable method of fishing. Um, <laughs> there's some big old fishy boys out there. I don't think any of them is alga though. What's this? This is much, much, much shallower. This might be too shallow. Well, we hit someone. I think I did actually see him sort of flopping around near my thing. Oh my gosh, I think that's a bass. It's a bass. Hello. Uh, I need to grab my uh, map. And... Uh, Add largemouth bass to the list. Now oh, we're there on the map. For the us. Yes, yeah, so for, for those who aren't in the know, I keep a, a record of where I find all of the various different fish that I catch so that I can come back and find them again at any point. I don't know if that's going to be useful, but. Uh, you know, it, the 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 hunter kind of does a little bit of it for you in that recurring locations that animals will visit are marked as need zones. There's no such thing here, so I just got a homegrown one. I assume this is- I've never seen a fisherman doing this, so I assume this isn't how you do real life jigging. Um, also, you'd think you'd get something to automate it. <laughs> well, that was a shallow bit, because that was only 3 meters deep. Shall we try, like, 
Either that way. That's a very shallow bit. Let's see if we can get something a bit less shallow than that. There we go, like that, like that deep. That's good. feel so daft doing this. I don't exactly know why. Like, this isn't actually more embarrassing than any other kind of fishing I've been doing, but it feels more embarrassing. <laughs> it feels stupider. It would feel less stupid if it was more successful, I think. Yeah, you know, if I only had to do this for like 20 seconds at a time, and then I hit a fish. But you know, I do this for a minute, like that, and no fish. <laughs> okay. This is kind of an intermediate depth. And we are definitely in night, which is the appropriate time. I've only caught a single Zalga off stream, which means the total Zalga I have caught in this game is two. So I don't consider myself a Zalga fishing expert. But then it is notoriously difficult to actually reach night time. It's one of the reasons why I was playing off stream this morning, is to get us through to night time. You know, I saw that something like 10. It's two hours of in-game playtime every time if you want to go night fishing. Meanwhile, unbelievably, there are people actually complaining about other people using cheats to set the, the time of day. Like, A, if you don't want to play with somebody who has cheats enabled, then don't play with that person in multiplayer. Secondly, you know, they wouldn't need to use cheats to do that if the game had a proper system for doing it, which it should do. You know, don't go blaming other people for fixing the problems that Apex or Avalanche or whoever they are introduced. This chicken seems to be more unsuccessful. Do -do -do. Shall we try over this way? This is going to be deeper now. Oops. I'm assuming this is more than 10. Oh, it's not quite 10 actually. Okay, so we are in kind of like a shallower bit of this particular lake. I do really want to catch a Zalga with the jigging, but I, I don't think it's going to happen, you know. Maybe I'm unduly pessimistic. But I feel like if it was going to happen, it might well have happened by now.
Yeah. Oh, oh, gold. <laughs> I was literally about to no pout, and he struck just in t just in time. Oh. Uh, okay. Right, who are you then? Yep, you're a jumper, so you are a bass. So that's a bass. Well, at least we got something. You're a juvenile bass as well. You're not even like a good bass. <laughs> okay. This is a deeper bit. We'll do like a full run through everything that we can see. And then maybe, if I'm feeling particularly petulant, we'll do a full run through everything, we, every angle, but at half cast instead of full cast. Sort of go at oh, after this at uh, uh, full cast. Okay, so out there we are at least hitting bass. Yeah, it's not as good as hitting the fish that we want to hit, but we are at least hitting something. It's good that the technique at least is working. Oh, this could be a Zelda actually. Hello? No, it's a it's a massive yellow perch. Okay. <laughs> right, well I didn't expect that. Especially as it's, you know, not yellow perch hours. Yeah, I think I've got well maybe two more casts at full length. Uh, and then we'll we'll do a, a full loop. I'll start again from the left. Rather than trying to remember where we got to. Uh, <laughs> I absolutely did not expect that. But hey ho, I have been, as I've mentioned, I've been surrounded by yellow perch like all day. And I still have not hit that many channel catfish, which is my favourite fish to, to, to try and catch, even though it's stupidly annoying. <laughs> There's a fish down there in front of me, but I can't have a look to see what it is because of the jigging technique. Not that I'd be able to tell the difference between a yellow perch and a Zalga here anyway. I wonder if after I've reeled this in, it would be worth actually putting on a minnow and seeing if I can grab this guy. Given that it's night, it's perhaps less likely to be much. But they don't actually seem to stick to their own self-imposed schedule of being daylight lovers. Because we used to grab loads of them when we were whitefish fishing. Okay, coming in. Pulling in, I'm going to give the old minnow a go to see just in case. We won't leave it in the water for long. Set up. Is 
that you going for it already? Or is that you? No. Okay. I guess you're probably a yellow perch then. Well, it's weird that I can, like, see you. Your, your movements are weird. Your movements confuse me. Can I lay you back, or am I too late? It's kind of difficult to figure out where it was in the water, to be honest. Lots of bass over there. Okay, right. We go back to our jigging rig. I said we're going to go back to our jigging rig. Thank you very much. Right, this is our last full cast. And then we're going to try some half length casts. And that's all probably going to fail. Look, there you are, you little thing. No, I wasn't supposed to. I'm not going for you. <laughs> Dizzy, focus on one task at a time. Please. Oh, I didn't mess that up. I wonder if I should be using a different line. I did have this thought last stream of should I be using this high visibility monofilament line? It's one of those problems that I don't know enough about fishing to know the answer to. This one in. I'm going to send something out to try and tempt that guy in because he's really bothering me <laughs> with his existence. You're not attracted to my blood. Curious. Very curious. So maybe you are Zalga? I've never seen a yellow perch that didn't fall over itself the blood worm. Which is definitely what I've got on. Oh, I'm using the wrong hook. That's why. Hang on. I, for some reason, thought I was using a different hook. If I pop this in, will you just come out anyway? Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. Yeah, whenever I've seen a yellow perch and thrown in a, a bloodworm ne near it, they've always gone for it pretty much immediately. With no hesitation. So maybe those are Zelda. Well, we're going to go back to our jigging and we're going to try half length casting. No, no we're not, we're going to... I saw him right there. 
seven minnow. It was right where you were. <gasps> That's definitely got to be a Zelda, surely. That's too long to be a yellow perch. Hello? I think we might have hit the jackpot, guys. And now we know where you live! You live in that bit. You're such like a generic fish shaped fish when you're in the water. Perhaps even more so than the mountain white fish. Um, amazing. Okay, we've finished our quest. The Zalgo is ours. I do want to give a last attempt to, to jigging. We'll give it a couple of half-length casts. Just a couple. Like, literally a couple, like two. Oh my god, my jigging technique is all over the place suddenly. Apologize to the viewers at home who are presently throwing up. There is actually a little fish down there just in front of us. I can't tell what he is though. He's absolutely tiny, he's minuscule. I think he must be a yellow perch. I don't think anybody else gets that small. I got distracted to have a look at the little fish. Um, but no, the ones we were seeing earlier definitely were yellow perch, because they didn't actually look like this alga. I didn't realise that you could tell them apart quite so easily, but you can. Let's reel this one in. One more, unless it's the last one. Oh no, I didn't need to be a full one. I need to be a half gust. Oh my gosh, is that a pike? Okay, so there's pike here. I'll add a yellow perch and pike to my map in this location. See someone moving over there. That's another yellow perch. Hello, oh blimey, you scared me there, Clay. You later. I think you actually scared me out of jigging for a second. Okay, and I don't think we're going to get any luck killing a Zelda like this somehow. I'm a, I'm a jigging sceptic. I'm sceptical that jigging really works. I much prefer um, lure fishing. Much, much prefer it. Okay, I'm putting this in. Uh, 
Uh, let's... Oops, I always hit the wrong button there. I really wish there was a hotkey to take you to this one specifically. Uh, let's... Oh, wait, let's turn that off. I just want to kind of try a little... Try and grab a little boy, if I can. Because I, I keep seeing the little boys. Oh, there's a big old pike. You're not a little boy, although I could probably get you actually. I set my this boy up for this boy. Lure fishing. I know, I'm very indecisive. This is why I'm a, a, an opportunistic hunter in The Hunter, it's just because I can't decide to go for any one thing. <laughs> oh dear me. Right, there's the pike. Oh, somebody else going for our lure. So, no pike. That will wait while whoever this is catches up to us. I'm assuming they're probably a bass. Oh. Just a big? Whoever they are. Oh, are you a channel catfish? <gasps> you are a silver one too. Oh, my favorite fish. Yes, yes. They go for frogs. I don't understand why they go for frogs, but they do go for frogs. I wonder if I can get more of you over here. Probably not. I've never been able to do anything that, that adds consistency to channel catfish catching. Not once ever in my life. But, I mean, we'll give it a go. i tell you what I did see earlier also off stream was I accidentally sort of was moving my rod around so that it came up as twitching. And a bass absolutely just barreled for it at lightning speed. Right, I'm assuming that's a pun. He's a very naughty boy who's not striking properly. There we go. This is a pike. Look at how it fights. The catfish just sort of fight as one continuous long pull, whereas the pike actually, like, do stuff. Okay. Fantastic. So that's the news. We've got the pike. We've got the catfish, which we didn't even know was here. We've got our Zalga. Let's head to you. Yo. Yellow perch. Come bite. Actually, you might be Zalga. I can't choose this quick enough. I probably need another, another rod. To be honest. You Zalga? You interested? Come and get the nice minnow. Nope. Oh, somebody's coming from over there. You might be interested. I can't tell what you are though. Are you a channel catfish again? They love minnow sometimes. This is the most channel catfish I've ever caught. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, Hello! Didn't expect to see you here. Alright, are you interested in this? I've accidentally undershot you. Wanna come over and say hi? And hi to the lovely little minnow? 
I can't tell if he's coming towards my lure or not, to be honest. If he is, he's slow as anything. I think he is. He is. Hello. Okay, so you, they, they are Zalga that I'm seeing. You can kind of have a look at them. See them doing stuff. You can interact with them like you would a normal fish. <laughs> They're not exclusively horrible loners who don't want to know about anything, like the channel catfish are. <laughs> grumble, grumble. Um, I wonder if that's one out all the way out there. Mm. Ah, over there, I should. Okay, but you're not super keen biters, apparently. <laughs> what is that over there? Is that a bass? I think that's a bass. You, see, you're huge and you look like you're floating. Oh, are you coming for my lure? You coming for my little minnow? Hello. This is the problem with minnows, is that the channel catfish go for them, but so does kind of everything. Gosh, you look pretty big. You're probably not, I'm probably just imagining things. All bass look big to me. Um, no, you are genuinely pretty big! Nice! Lovely. Um, okay, so this is a, a, a fairly effective spot for nighttime minnow fishing. As it turns out. I do really wish I could look around while doing this, but if you do it, it moves your bubble around and stuff. It's not really ideal. Oh, someone's coming up to the surface over there. Oh, you're from miles and miles away. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. There. Come grab the minnow? Maybe? Maybe? Maybe not. Maybe you're not interested. That's okay. <laughs> um. Stream quality might go down just briefly. Oh, I mess around with Twitch. Just because I want to see what's actually like uh, going on with Twitch. Oh gosh, you can probably hear my poor PC is, is absolutely blasting there. Oh yeah, okay. And the stream looks terrible. <laughs> we're working on it. I promise you, we're working on it. Um, but it, it was also important to me to check that it was actually like up. Not that I'm paranoid after last time, but I am very paranoid after last time. Let's head back to base and grab a new quest. We've never actually taken a quest from this notice board. I'm assuming they're the same quests, but I don't actually know. That's the... Oh, maybe the tutorial quests aren't here. Because these are the... These are the not tutorial quests. Challenge, please catch a fish. Please catch a big fish. Please catch a huge fish. I love that. I love that so much. Um, clay's not here. 
Okay, no, there's no notice board. I guess we have to go back to proper base camp. Diamond's Peak Outpost, apparently it's called. Hello. Okay, well, what do we learn how to catch next? So in Yellow Perch, we've done Zalga, Missing Raymond, Russian Blue Cat. We could try for a Salmon. We could try for a Blue Girl. We have seen some Blue Girl now. We have seen uh, Golden Trout as well. Shall we try for a Golden Trout? Have we done Rainbow Trout? I think we have. Hang on, I can find out quite easily. Largemouth Bass, Whitefish, Pike, Rainbow Trout, Zalga, Smallmouth Bass, Yellow Perch. We haven't done Channel Catfish and it still won't let us do Channel Catfish. Nor will it let us do Lake Trout. I assume they're like the last ones you unlock? Maybe the game thinks they're the toughest to find? Let's grab Golden Trout. Golden trout are relatively small fish that feed mostly on all kinds of different insects. These distinctly gold-coloured fish prefer the cold and clear mountain lakes and ponds of any depth, and are exclusively found at higher elevations. Look for them in the coldest lakes and ponds. They fight well for their size and will choose to fight over resting almost any time. Uh, enjoy a broad selection of baits, so leech bait and spoon lures are the best to target these fish. Get leeches for your float tackle, or a spoon lure with hook size 6. Oh, hey, I've got a spoon lure with hook size 6. Um, and... Uh, it just says leeches, okay. Uh, Given their small fish, I use the smaller so I can put leeches on. Uh, oop. Fantastic. The shallow waters of alpine lakes like this one are a perfect home for the golden trout. Like which one? Where are we going? Where are we going? Oh my gosh, we're going up here! Okay. Uh, we've got to go there. Hang on a sec. Is there anything near there? On this? No, there isn't. That's okay. Uh, it's quite close to the Silver Strand Meadows outpost, though. So maybe we'll head up to that and unlock it. So we have a moderately nearby fast travel point. That's probably a good idea. Okay, I guess we're going on another road trip. Um, uh, where do we want to start from? I guess start from here? The lumber mill? We'll start from the trailhead because there'll be a, a car. Then we head here and turn left. And then we just follow the main road. Okay. We're doing some more exploring, everyone! Aren't you guys lucky yet to, like, see lots of stuff? Nope, I need the board. <laughs> My phone is no use to me, I need the board. Oh, it seems to be daytime as well. See that it takes ages and ages and ages to get to night. And then once you've got to night... Oh, I hit that boat. Once you've got tonight, it doesn't last any time at all. Which is fine if you only want to catch daytime fish. Although actually, that being said, of course, I've caught significantly more nighttime fish during the day than I have at night anyway. We're going on a trip in our favourite rocket ship, dodging through the signs. Little Einstein's... Oh my gosh. Climb aboard, get ready to explore. Uh, oh, I nearly lost the road there a bit. Little Einstein's... Oh god. Let's go! 
With the line stones, I'm gonna have them going the right way. Yes, I am. Let's drive past an oxide daisy. Did I do that? Maybe not. Maybe I didn't. No, okay, it's fine. It's still a little dark, so it's still a little difficult to tell. Um, We have Aspie in the chat. Hi there. How's it going? You join us for some more explorer rating. and collectible collecting as well. Where am I on the map right now? Okay. Your texture seems to actually work, which is nice. You're well, great to see another trans heart on this game. Aww. Ugh, I mean, I feel like I, I was about to say I'm not great at this game, but we did have some successes earlier. We did, like, actually catch the fish we were supposed to be catching. So that's not nothing. Uh oh, that's a sign. Oh, that's a tree. <laughs> oh gosh. Right, right, okay. We're doing fine, we're doing fine. Try not to panic. Ow, that's a tree, ow! Okay, we, we didn't succeed in the try not to panic. Uh, I'm more or less at where the waypoint is. I'm surprised there haven't been any trailheads on this path, actually. I was sort of expecting one. Uh, just tells us we're in the reserve. We kind of already knew that. Wiggly Road ahead. Good. Great. Amazing. I think our exploring is- oh my god, don't fall off of that. I think our exploring is just actually kind of following this road. Uh, uh, oh, that looked like a junction. It was kind of a junction, but that's a footpath, apparently. There's a big lovely lake here. But I guess this is a high up lovely lake. Because we are- oh, hello. We found. We found a car valet. That doesn't seem to be sort of quite at the outpost, but we found a car valet anyway. Native history four. Notes. Native history four. Some groups of Shoshone, who adapted to a mountain existence, chose not to acquire the horse. These included the Tukadika, or sheep eaters, who used their dogs to transport food, hides, and other provisions. The Tukadika acquired the name sheep eaters from the bighorn sheep whose migrations they followed. Bighorn sheep were a significant part of their diet, and they crafted the carcasses into a wide array of tools. That's pretty cool. 
Uh, Osby says, you're a much better driver than I am on this. I crash all the time. I mean, that was definitely an outlier in terms of driving performance. I'm not going to pretend that my usual driving is that good, because it's not. Uh, I mean, even then, I was involved in several of what would have been fatal accidents if this were a real car, so... Uh, there's lots of buildings out here. Maybe I should be exploring this whole bit on foot? Question mark? Just in case there's collectibles and shiny things? There's like a fire all the way out there that no one is tending to. That's very wasteful and very dangerous. Nope, no collectibles here. Can I go up the ladder? Nope. One of these days I'll be able to go up the ladder. You rolled it like seven times first day of playing. Jeesh. I mean... It's not like I haven't rolled it, but I, I managed to drive without rolling it for long enough that the first time I did roll it I hadn't realised... I didn't realise that that's what I'd done. Started right at the centre of towering alpine peaks is our Silver Strand Meadows outpost, offering shelter to travellers from the mountain trail. Aww. Much like any other outpost, you'll be able to find notice boards, storage lockers, a boathouse and a garage for easy access to transportation. As well as a flagpole for yourself. <laughs> I love how he's, he's decided that I really love flagpoles. That's what I want. That's what I want from an outpost is a flagpole. Um, oh, then crickets. Uh, let's have a look around. This isn't as interesting as the one with the train, because it doesn't have a train. Uh... <gasps> you know how I said one day I'd be able to go up the ladder? Today is that day. <gasps> oh, what a wonderful day. I managed to go up the ladder, there's nothing here. Well, that was an anticlimax. But it's fine, because I managed to go up the ladder. Uh, so we're still calling it a success story. Where the hell are the storage lockers? I'm not actually sure I noticed the storage lockers at Ruby River Range. <gasps> BG is here. Hi there, BG. Yes, the game is spoiling me. I'm a very spoiled person right now. Bait. Oh, this is Clay's house. There's a bar and grill. I hear you. There we go. Hey BG, how's it going? Illinois Centennial Half Dollar. I'm doing marvelously well. We we had a we did a success with our fishing earlier, and I'm hoping for a fairly quick success with this new quest. And we found a coin. Illinois Centennial Half Dollar. A struck to commemorate the state's addition to the Union it was minted in 1918. All of the coins were sold, though many were held by a bank until 1933, after which they were then sold off to help those in need. That is distinctly un-American. Um... I've now lost track of which houses I haven't, haven't explored, but that's fine. You just come back from your first day of induction. Ooh! What are you being inducted into? Course leaders are canny. Ah, um, your master's course. Yes! I remember you talking about it before. You're actually the second person I've spoken to today who has had their first day of uh, uni stuff. So, uh, congrats. I hope it went well, question mark? I hope the canny course leaders are a good thing. I've seen a collectible, so we can grab it. <laughs> They've all started today. I guess this is the, the day for it. Which is weird, because I... I guess I maybe wasn't expecting it this week. I was expecting it next week. Oop. Oh, 
play. He's adorable. He's great. Uh, Bidu says, it's a good thing though, it's me so nerves are very high. Well, I'm sure it'll be fine. I doubt you have anything to worry about. I mean, they obviously wanted you there, otherwise they wouldn't have accepted you onto the course. So they obviously think you can do it. Ooh, a regional fish hatchery. Cool. Yes, I do know recent events and all. You're getting in everyone's way. Oh my gosh, there's actually a little cabin out there. Wait, I want to go have a look at the little cabin. Okay, we might not get to the Golden Trail today just because I might get too distracted. Uh. 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 Okay. Um, hang on. <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> Whoopsies. A windmill? Wait, where's the windmill? Oh yes, right. Yes, there, there's a there's a mill somewhere. Uh, the, the, that water mill actually had me very confused. That water mill is like, oh my god, this map screen. There's a silver mines, dam, vista, outpost, waterfall. There's the water mill. It's up here. Um, should have said nothing and just left me confused. But you wouldn't do that to me because you love me too much, uh, and that would be cruel. Right, BG? I can't make little Dizzy do like puppy dog eyes, but if I could, I would. <laughs> Your smugness knows no bounds. As it should, BG. As it should. Um. Meanwhile, let's just crash into this near rock. Right, who lives out on this tiny little island? And do you have any collectibles for me? I'll go up into the roof there. Well, you do not have any collectibles for me, that's disappointing. Oh! I tell a lie, you've got a plant. It's you, it's your fault. Uh, okay, this island is otherwise fairly uninteresting. Oh, it actually rocked from the impact of me hitting it. Uh oh, am I gonna get stuck here? Oh. Don't get stuck, little boat! Uh, I'm turning left as hard as I can. Come on, little boat! Come on, little boat! Do, 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 do! You gotta believe, BG! You gotta believe! Ooh, it's stuck. God damn it. God damn it. Oh, it's Yi. Hi there, Yi. See, Yi believes, but Yi believes slightly too late because I'd already got it stuck. Um. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like the game needs perhaps a slightly better unstuck mechanic. Um. By which I think it me needs an unstuck mechanic, not just a don't get stuck in the first place mechanic. How have I been? I'm being pretty good. Uh, pretty happy with how it's going so far. Right, we can't possibly get stuck on this. Why is the ferry at the bottom moved? The ferry at the bottom is moved uh, so that you guys can see. Oh, you can't see it. Hang on. I've got to get me rod out. Rod, please. The, the, the ferry at the bottom is moved so you can see the uh, little drag indicator 
on account of uh, sometimes when I am playing a particularly heavy fish, I'm fiddling with that, and you guys can't see what I'm doing. Uh, if if dizzy if little dizzy is in her normal spot. Uh, it also lets you see the speed that I'm reeling in at, but like not well. <laughs> it's just enough. Just enough that you can see when I hit the thing and it scrolls down to, to speed two. All of you using two chatters. Possibly three chatters if Elspear is still around. Uh I'm feeling I'm feeling the love today. You can see a three and a fifteen of them left. Yeah, that's that's what you're looking for. Um, and I, I don't fiddle with them super often. You know, it, it is it is pretty much just that the drag goes up and down when I'm messing with the big fish, and then the speed. Oh, blimey, Clay! I'm down at Silver Strand Meadow now. If you wanted to drop by, you spooked me, Clay. You spooked me. Um. I have lost all conception of what I was doing. Uh, oh, there's a. I was looking at the storage lockers, wasn't I? As well as any collectibles, and I need to go up to that tower. Oh, so there's such a long list of things. It's like three things, but it's such a long list of three things. I investigated the bar and grill. Where the hell are these lockers supposed to be? If tired, stop slash rest. Duly noted, that's my car. Okay, I have no idea where the storage lockers are. I would assume that they'd be somewhere within- Oh! Hello! You've shown up. Hi there! I'm sorry, what did you just say?! <laughs> I'm sorry, Clay, you've killed me. Never loved something too much. I love the Chipotle cheese chips they sold down at the gift shop too much. I'd never go anywhere without them, like a scrumptious colostomy bag. Uh people even thought my surname was Ann Chips. Now they discontinued them, and let me tell you, life has never been the same since. We've all been burned by love, Clay. <laughs> I had a life out of this park once. It was like a little rump springer. But I prefer to grow here over growing out there. What the hell is a rump springer? Also, could you say top of the morning to you again, please? Um. Melissa well, set me on fire? No? I think? I, I don't think so. I um. have an open door policy because people forget to close <laughs> Oh, you're in a grumpy mood, are you, Clay? Is it because I laughed at you saying top of the morning to you? Is that why? Poor Clay. Uh, I do mock him occasionally. What am I actually looking for? Oh, the, the storage lockers do not seem to exist. I know, Clay. I'll be back. I'm always back for you, Clay. Oh, silly Billy. <laughs> Set Clay on fire. I hope that that's not possible. Um, but even if it was, you know, I'm his little buckaroo. I'm not gonna gonna hurt him. Uh, it's a measured response. Yeah, if you're measuring in kilometers. Uh, interesting. The noise from the thing stopped. Where are you? Hello. It wasn't until after the conclusion of the Civil War 
that a detailed exploration took place, revealing that the tales of the so-called liars were indeed very real. I, I still don't quite understand the idea that there are people who, like, didn't grasp the concept of a hot spring. Now, was that noise that I heard? I guess it was the survey lookout point. Weird. Oh, no, there's a thing down there. Hello. Boink. Like some joke. This blister rust is making a meal of Mother Nature, and it's some nasty meal like quinoa salad or something. If it's born in the ground, it should stay there safe and sound. You're a quarter closer to just desserts, Buckaroo. What's wrong with quinoa salad? Allow quinoa salad. I realize that's like the poshest thing I could possibly say, but but do that lookout tower did not reveal a single thing on my map. That revealed absolutely nothing on my map. <laughs> How useful is that? Right, where am I headed? Journal. Catch a golden trout. I'm headed down here, okay. Uh... Oh, I can't fast travel to the car valet. It's so far away. It's so far away from the actual... Oh, no, it was this I was hearing before. Hello. You've seen a quarter of the plants now, but just one of them can produce 500,000 seeds. That's quite a few. That would take more than a few buckaroos to get through. So let's chalk that down to worst case scenario. Well, I hope you're not getting through too many buckaroos, uh, Clay. Do, 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 do. Although, I suppose if you're setting them on fire, then maybe you are. Um... Hi there. Well, there's a sight for sore eyes. The young buck. Wow! Rude! Okay, you are clearly in a mood today, Clay. Catch me something nice, oh, catch these hands if you're not careful, Clay. Um... <clears throat> But a, but a sight for sore eyes, young buckaroo. Indeed. Uh, oops, that's three point without crashing and dying. Oh, that's like an information board here. Does it have anything on it for me? No, it just has posters for missing Raymond. Park regulations. Stay on the trails. I've definitely not been doing that. Why are hours 10 p.m. to 6 a.m.? I've definitely not been doing that. No fireworks, no smoking. Clean up. Ye is back. Hi there, ye. Be a good neighbor. Enjoy your stay. Fantastic. What the hell are all these spreadsheets? Uh. I can't figure it out. Uh, they probably shouldn't be tapped to this information board, whatever they are. Back on the road. We're going for a trout. Oh, this is a lake catch, even though it's like a really small lake. Uh, oh god, oh god. Low sign. Uh, I can't see where I'm going. Oops, that's a blind rise. That uh, I hit a sign there. <laughs> Panic! Oh god. Uh, where's the road go? It goes left and then right. <laughs> We've got your horse therapy tomorrow, so not long, but you'll stay for another hour and a half. Oh, that's sweet of you. I mean, as always, don't stay up on my behalf. Uh, it's lovely to have you here, but it's not lovely to deprive you of sleep. That's actually literally torture. Um,
Look out! Okay, it's fine. We can just break fast by hitting the signs. <laughs> uh... See, there's a pier down here. Is this a a boat spawn point? But it's not a fast travel point. So what's the point? This is Lake Zircon, apparently. You can have a picnic on it. <laughs> I feel like my character would be in a bit of pain from that. Yeah, yeah, me too, BG, me too. Uh, right, we're catching a golden trout. Uh, this is the lake, so we want to try a spoon, which I think is what we've got on. Nope, oh, that's the wrong rod. Oh, I didn't buy another rod. I was going to buy another rod so I can have a bunch more setups going at once, and I didn't do that. Right. Wait for you to sink. You have sunk. Yeah, chanty, 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 chanty. Yeah, chanty, 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 chanty. I wonder if you're like super duper slow like Rainbow Trout are. Am I gonna have to massively slow down my reeling speed every time I try and catch one? Oh, someone's coming for me. What are you? Come here. Golden Trout! <laughs> I wish jigging was that easy! Um, <laughs> a silver Golden Trout as well! Nice, lovely, fantastic. Um, I'm gonna very quickly tab over to my map so I can add a uh, Golden Trout to this location. Not golden trout, rainbow trout. No. Golden trout. Shut up, Dizzy, you don't know anything. You don't know nothing about nothing. Where the hell am I? <laughs> I'm lost on the map. Okay. Uh, shall we throw out for another one? Just to see what else is out here. There's somebody bobbing at the surface over there. So I'll cast out towards them and actually I'll probably snap my line on this horrible thing that's next to me when I... The life ring. I say horrible thing. Kind of very important to have life rings and stuff, but uh... Will be annoying if it snaps my line. Oh my god! That What the hell was that monster there?! Jesus Christ, did you see that? That was a huge fish! <laughs> that is going to be my target, you're absolutely right. Problem is, I don't actually know what he is. I think he's a rainbow trout? Question mark? I wish this one would hurry up and strike, the one that's following my actual lure. Oh my god, you're a pretty big one as well! Aspia. Jesus Christ! Okay, so this is apparently where you find the massive rainbow trout then. That's good to know. Oh, I fell in. <laughs> right, where were you? You were kind of over here, Resh, and not that far away. I'll see if I can lure you up with a spoon. Seeing as your friend Rainbow Trout went for the spoon. Um, typically, I grab you guys with- oh my gosh, here he is, I think. You've got to strike quickly, though. 
Jesus Christ, look at him. Look at that fish! And that's only a gold? Oh my god, how big do they get when they're diamonds? Jesus Christ! Uh... <laughs> I'm going to put on my map, that you guys can't see, I'm going to put Rainbow Trout and then I'm going to put Massive. There we go. Uh, holy guack. Um, it's like when they show the big evil boss at the start of the game. You know, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. That <laughs> I was not prepared for that, that fish. That, that mega chunk of fish. Um. <laughs> Come to this lake, find golden trout, they said. What's the worst that could happen, they said. It's nice so that the spoon grabs rainbow trout as well, actually. That's a useful piece of info that I don't know that I had. Um, okay, we just got a little boy following us today. Small ponds and golden trout go hand in hand. Almost every high elevation pond will contain some of these fish. Well, we'll look out for them. Oh my god, look at this guy, he's so slow! Rainbow trout are the slowest fish. I know I've said this before, but it's true. <laughs> I have to go at one speed just so he can catch up. Come on. Come on. Come on. You are at least not quite as hefty as the, your friends that I've caught so far, I think. <whistles> okay, um... So this is definitely a spot I'll be coming back to, I guess. Because yikes. Uh, where are we going for our next... It's 825 meters that way. Okay, that's not that bad. Uh, we'll do it by car. Does it just follow the main road? Let's just follow the main road. Like, I could fast travel back to the outpost and then walk 200 meters to the valet, but I'm not sure that's that much quicker. So I'm just going to drive it. Right, let's not put her in the lake, because that would be bad. Okay. I don't like these open bits because you can't tell where the road's going to be. Is that a collectible plant? Wait, yes, yes it is. <laughs> I was like, hmm, that plant model looks different. Eagle eye to see, oh yeah. Ideally we'd be able to get to them while they're just rosettes, but there's far too much golden ridge for that. This is as good as it gets. You're a quarter down. Unfortunately I don't remember which kind of plant that is. Um but it's my second of that kind, apparently. Oops. Oh, look at the pretty waterfall. Very pretty. Oh my gosh, I'm off the road. Oh, don't look at the waterfall while you're driving, Dizzy. <laughs> the 
There's not an IG command you. I don't use my Instagram enough for it to be worth- I don't upload anything to Instagram. What? Oh my god, that was some air. Oh god, I'm going too fast through this settlement. Ow! That, I hit something. That was inevitable. Um... Oh, that's not good. Ouch. Okay. Speed limit 25. I mean, to be fair, I'd probably not hit things if I did stick to a speed limit of 25. Oh my gosh, I'm going straight in the water. Jeez. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. We lived. Is everything intact? Uh, my shadow looks intact. So I'm gonna say yes, everything is intact. Right. Uh, we want leeches apparently for golden trout. Which I think I have equipped. Yes, I've got them equipped. <laughs> just, if you can't be bothered to, to go into the menu to find out what you have equipped, just squiggle your, your line down. Uh, uh, do you need a timeout, ye? You're blocking a highway. Oh, is this you and your, um, your cows again? Okay, okay. Farming Sim 20, so thank goodness for that. Um, I didn't say it, you did! We operate a nice lovely PG-13 stream here, thank you. Um, <laughs> okay, I can't say that with a straight face, but I can try. Um, I wonder if I should be. I wonder if all these little boys nibbling at the surface are the trouts, and I should be aiming for those. Let's try that. There was a nibbler over there somewhere. Well, aim for him. You've seen my Instagram. I'm pretty sure it is just is for demise. Um, so if you, for some reason, need to send me something over there, and that's possible on Instagram, which it might be or might not be, I don't know. Uh, is there a little boy coming to my uh, to my bait? I think there is, it's a bit difficult to tell. Yes, there is, hello. Come on, come, come eat. Yep, 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 yep. Bingo. Ooh, a lovely silver golden trout. Fantastic. Uh, and yes, it does look like all of my bits are intact. <laughs> Mission completed, catch a golden trout. Well, that's marvellous. Where are we on the map? We are in that lake. I wonder if there will also be rainbow trout in this lake. <laughs> you sent me look now, boy. I'll look at it later, ye. <laughs> Unless it's of, of utmost dire urgency. Um... I actually haven't checked the traits of the golden trout at all. What are you? You're skittish around people, you're jumpers, you're aggressive biters. Like marshmallow cheese and eggs, none of which are the leeches that I'm using, but okay. Uh, 
Okay, but you're going to have to explain to the classy why the stream quality tanks, because I'm opening up Firefox. <laughs> um, right. I don't even have a message on here. Um, I ain't got a, a phone with Instagram on it, that's for sure. Um, oh, I'm just going to tab back into the game, that wasn't what I intended to do. I mean, what I, what I mean? I mean, I'm looking at Instagram right now and it's not telling me anything. <laughs> Sorry, you. Right, okay, close that down. Get back to fishing. We are here to fish, God damn it. Although I sort of was expecting another rainbow trap to have bitten at some point. Um, come on, guys. Get your tasty leeches. Nami nami leeches. Yum yum. Yum. Oh god, is my real name attached to my Instagram? That's gross. Uh, let's never speak of that again. Um, Well, now I know it's a good thing I, I don't give out my Instagram readily. Um, blech. Is there a way for me to delete just that specific message so it's not on the board? Please, why do I have the name? I don't know, I don't use the bloody app, do I? Um... See, back when I was young... Well, okay, when I was young, Instagram didn't exist, but when I was less young, Instagram was for sort of fitness models and, and thinspiration and all that kind of stuff. Real nasty business that, uh, you know, the, the re real nasty stuff that you didn't really want to be associated with uh, and that I wouldn't have wanted to bombard me on a daily basis at all anyway. Surely your name is Yee's Nuts. Um, but yeah, so so I never used Instagram when I was sort of a, a, a late teen to, to young adult. Um, and I only made an account a while ago because I have a friend who I could not connect with on social media like in any other way than via her Instagram. I'm not actually sure if I have connected with her Instagram either as well, which makes it worse. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I do my best to keep my dead name away from the internet space because it's not something I want to be known by online. Uh,
Oh, I can add, put in a custom gender on Instagram now. That's not funny. Right, okay, my name has been expunged from all records forever. Um... <laughs> Oh, oh no, I tried to, to to close Firefox and it said that operation is not valid. <laughs> um, that's not good news. Have I? Oh my god, I've been trying to float fish and this is not my float fishing rod. <laughs> so I've just been throwing my lure rod out here. I've been so distracted over the whole Instagram real name thing. <laughs> I've just been sat here with a blooming spoon in the middle of the water. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, oh, that was a rainbow trout boy, though. Hang on. <laughs> Thought I'd have a fake name on social media. Well, I do on all the social media that I actually use. Because my Instagram never receives any attention, I guess I never changed it. Um. Are you? Are you a rainbow trout? Or are you a white fish? I think that might have been a white fish, you know. I can kind of see him down there. I'll drop some eggs in, see if he goes for it. Nice ten eggs. Hello, come here, have a nibble. Come here, have a nibble. How have I been, Brian? Uh, quite good now that I've grabbed whoever this is. What are you? Come here, let me have a look at you. Albino? Oh, he's a white fish! Gosh, I don't see you guys very often. Um, let's add you to this lovely list. There we go. Oh, it's nice to have another place where I can find you guys. I wonder if I can... Have I seen a rainbow trout here? Like a normal rainbow trout? I don't think I have. But I've seen jumpers. Which may or may not be rainbow trout. Is that another white fish? Come here. Wait, 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 wait. Don't go anywhere. Come get the eggs, come get the eggs. I don't see white fish very often, so it's nice. Another one! Hello! Hi guys! Well, that's neat. Is there anyone further out in the middle who likes eggs? That's got to be a rainbow trail. This is a very shallow pond as well. I suppose that's why it's a pond, not a lake.
Come on, rainbows, I know you're here. Come get the nice tasty spoon. Anyone? Going for the, the spoon? Come on. Yeah, fishy, fishy, fishy. Yeah, fishy, fishy, fishy. No? No fishy, 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 fishy? I guess not. Okay. Ah, uh, I could go and pick up another class actually. We've got like an hour. I was hoping to grab at least one rainbow from this pond, because I'm sure that's what those things are. That are jumping. Because they don't look like bass, they look too long and eel-like for bass. Which, to my mind, means rainbow trout. rude. I mean, you're not wrong exactly, but you're still, it's still rude. Um, look, there's someone coming for my spoon now who I'm sure is going to be a, a rainbow trout. Please don't be a golden trout. Um, oh my gosh, you're so slow! <laughs> I can't make this go any slower. You just have to catch up to it. Come on, you're nearly there. You're nearly there. Come on. Come on. Amazing. Fantastic. You're a rainbow trout. You're a rainbow chart. Okay, I can add rainbow chart to the map, and everything is right with the world. Right, there we go. Okay, uh, let's head back to base camp and pick up a new quest. Do 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 do. Why is Diamond's Peak outpost? not near a peak. Like it's kind of in the sort of the middle. Like there's a peak here, but that's not closer to here than it is to the other outpost. And then there's a peak here, but that's not particularly close either. It's just uh, why not call it Bear Lake Outpost given it's on the shores of Bear Lake, you know? That's what I'd do. Right, what are we gonna grab? Uh Let's grab bluegill. Bluegill is a small carnivorous fish that eats insects, plankton, and smaller fish. They can be found in shallower and warmer waters at lower elevation with gentle flow. So we actually picked up, I don't know if it was on stream, but we picked up a few bluegill uh, when we were looking for Zalgra at the, the river spot. Look for these fish in Ruby River Ranges shallower water bodies, okay? Fighting a bluegill can be an erratic experience. These little fish fight hard for their size. So does literally every fish in this game. They all fight hard for their size. They're known to perform sudden, powerful spins. I'm not expecting it to bother me somehow. Uh, right. Bloodworm bait and spinner lures with hook size 7. Uh, that is makes sense because I was catching them when I was looking for yellow perch, I think. So bloodworm bait. Let's try a bloodworm on a hook size of 7 and see if that actually works for them. And spinner size 7. Wait, of all the kit that's available in the shop, we only use a tiny subset of it. Right, that's many kilometers away. Hopefully it's a bit more accessible from here. It is. Oh, yeah, it's in the same river as before. 
Uh, let's go to here and head down by road. Oh my goodness gracious, where are we? Where's the car? Where's the car? I actually need to take a little bit of a drink, so give me two seconds. Ah, good grief. Right. Not you cooking right now? What time is it for you? Isn't it like midnight for you? I mean, I suppose actually there are plenty of people who cook at midnight and what have you. Oh, I do. I really want to see what's. Okay, I'm going to get out of the car because I do actually really want to see what this little path is that's on my map. Do -do -do -do. I've got a waypoint on the the map that's miles and miles away. Hang on. Okay. Little path. Is there anything at the end of your little path? Oh, it's 7.52. Okay. That's not a terrible time to be cooking. Well, it probably is if you're a normal person, but I'm not a normal person, so I don't care. Um, I assumed this path would be a way up to there, but it's not. Uh, is this a busted old tree? I guess I must have already reported that one. I probably saw it while I was boating. Now according to that, this path does just sort of... stop. Why is there a path down to just this one rock? Is this a particularly special rock? don't know. The game obviously thinks it's a very special rock. By the way, the waypoint is just... oh no, okay, it thinks I'm close enough. Uh, right. Let's... I saw someone jumping there. Bluegill jumpers? They are. Okay. Let's say maybe you are a bluegill. And uh, plop a line down for you. <laughs> See if you'll take the slightly larger hook. I don't think they're aggressive biters, are they? No, they are bottom lockers, though. That's probably fine. How can you be a jumper and a bottom locker? I feel like I've criticised this before. Um, if you're jumping up out of the water, you are by definition not lurking at the bottom of said water. They don't seem immediately interested. Let's try with the smaller hook size. It was before when I've thrown it in further up river than this. With this hook size, they just go straight to it. Like, they don't hang about, really. <laughs> Although I do vaguely wonder if I should be casting more towards the opposite shore, because that's where the waypoint is. Or alternatively, if 
I should be at the waypoint. But and there's a there's a river between me and there. You're embarrassing me. Where are you guys? No, oh, you're there. Hold on. You're there. Okay, let's try that. Oh, someone's coming for me, I think. Hello? Oh, you're bottom dollar, so of course you are in kind of the middle where it's deepest. Duh, dizzy. Use that head of yours. Ye, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> No, 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 come, come back! Come nibble it! Again. You really liked it! There we go. Good boy, good fishy. Yes, ye, I would love to learn something today. If you say shush in chat, it does this. Oh, that is a fun fact. Okay, this guy is a very... A, a very cautious nibbler. Oh, there we go. I have learned more things about Twitch. Right, I want to see if they will actually respond to this bigger ion. Big hook. I want to catch bigger bluegill. I'm learning something new every day. Where am I? I'm down here. Somebody started uh, sawing outside, so I hope that's not too immediately visible. <laughs> okay, I'm not I'm not made of gullibility, you know ye. I may be a fool, but I'm not a total one. You can hear it clear as day. You can hear what clear as day? Oh, the saw! Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh dear. Well, there's nothing more I can do about it because every window in the place is shut. Uh... Would you choose male stripper or girl stripper? I mean, well, I'm clear as anything, so girl stripper, but like. I'm not particularly into that one way or the other. It's not my not my jam.
Okay, I obviously don't like the, uh, the bigger hook. You commented on my YouTube vid yesterday. Oh, I didn't need to throw that back out. It's fine. Alright, once we go to go down here and visit the ghost town. Okay, well. Can you go in the water? Uh, your name was Gang. Yeah, I, I, I noticed. Uh, this is as much as I can go into the water and then it resets me. Uh, Which is a shame, because I'd love to be easily able to like cross bodies of water, but that's what the boat is for. And just having the boat as an option is already like 8,000 times better than the Hunter, where you just can't cross bodies of water at all. Should have brought the car across the bridge, to be honest. Um, but no matter. Uh, I guess we're gonna go and explore the ghost town and then maybe, maybe catch uh, a bluegill at the end of that. Why is quality so good on Twitch but not on YouTube? I must admit I didn't think the quality was particularly good on Twitch either, although as I can't easily both watch and stream at the same time. I'm mostly reliant on you for Twitch quality information. Um, although I suppose for YouTube quality you have to bear in mind that it's been compressed by Twitch for me to download it and then potentially like recompressed by YouTube when I upload it. Uh, It's 4K OMG. Oh, that's nice. I'm vaguely surprised. Uh, have I missed the waypoint? Ow. I have missed the waypoint. Whoops. Uh, oh god. Right. Hang on. Out we get. Send me a photo, Brian, but my Insta ain't working. I don't know why that is, and I do not expect that I'll be able to fix it. I wonder what you are. Are you. Are you a, a bass? There's a little boy right there. Oh, he's over there, that ion. Goodbye. You are a bass. Hello. Oh, well, I'm pleased about that at least. It's nice when something works. <laughs> right. Oh, bloody saw again. Uh, oh yes, I was going to use the uh, the old spinnery boy. What is that? There's like a shadow on the water. Oh, weird. Um, spinner. Right, okay, come here little bluegills, come here little bluegills, is that a little bluegill on the right hand side there? I think it is, you know. It might just be a bass. Uh, 
Either way, if he's there, he's definitely not coming to my lure over here. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, I think... So. Oh, there's lots of fish coming to the surface here, actually. I can't tell what all of them are. No, it's very sad. When you throw the line, you can't move. You are fixed to the spot. Which I find very weird, because... You know, although I'm not used to moving around like a lot when fishing, it's definitely something it's definitely something I've used to my advantage in the past. Bloody pike. Come here, you horrible fish. Wow, that's an L. Yeah it is. Really is. Uh, okay, let's add Pike to the map. It uh, it's particularly weird given that the buttons that you use for moving, you know, it's not like they use for anything else while you're in the fishing bit. Like there was no need to restrict you from walking around. You got a re-download hunter? Why did you uninstall it? I didn't actually say that. It's it's a constantly broken buggy game, so I can understand why you'd uninstall it. Um Hello Anybody coming for my thing? Someone's coming for my thing. I think you're a bass. If you're a blue girl, you're a bloody big blue girl, let's put it that way. Um So Dizzy, that was very rude of you to say what the the hunter is a buggy mess. I mean it wasn't wrong of me to say. Look, see, some of these fish can absolutely, like, put down the miles when they're coming for your lure. And then the rainbow trout are just faffing about. I have to sink more quickly so I can pull in more fish. Uh, no, I don't have a snap. Why the lots of nosy? Yeah. Right, come on, you. Come here. Are you another pike? No, you're a bass. You're quite a big bass. You're a gold bass. Ooh, lovely. You deleted farming sim 22 to Freight Up's place? Oh no, ye, you fool. I I mean, it's if it's a Steam game, you're unlikely to have lost any save data, but I assume that's going to take a while to re-download. Oh dear. You're on Xbox. Oh. Your cows. Oh. Poor ye. I know you love those cows. Or, or, 
possibly you hate those cows and that's why you send them off to be slaughtered by the thousands. I'm not really sure. I know you have strong feelings one way or another about the cows. It's okay, Yi. Your your meat will rise again. Oh, there's another bloody basket for the spinner. Give me bluegills! I'm here for bluegills. I know I could be a lot more selective if I just used the float fish, but I want a lure fish for a bluegill. God damn it! because you lost your house in trance. Oh no. I'm sort of vaguely surprised if it does delete your save data. I would have assumed that your save data would be stored separately to like the game data. Good 14 mil down the drain. Oh that's very rough. I'm very sorry. Someone's coming for me. You're very small and very far away so I can't tell what you are. God, that could even be a perch, couldn't it? At that size. Well, actually, I'm not certain if it is coming for me or not. No, it is. So there you have to re-download mods. That'll take a day or so. Ouch. That is a long old time. For which I do not envy you. Oh my god, my character is blacking out in-game. Uh, that's not good news. Uh, game? Game, you're worrying me! Game? What's happening? <laughs> Why is everything going dark? Oh gosh, and your chicken is burning? Go fetch that. Ye, go get the chicken. The fish will wait. Well, I mean, this speci specific fish won't wait, but like, the fish in general will wait. It's fine on your screen? Oh, I'm definitely seeing the game go kind of black. Uh, every so often. What is with this fish? Will you hurry up and strike already? I mean, that's extra worrying if it's only happening on my end, because that means it's my monitor doing it and not the game. What is this fish doing? <laughs> Why are you following me for meters and meters and meters and not biting? Do you want me to increase the speed? I'll do that. You're a Salga! The hell? Is that a, that's a Zelda, isn't it? What are you doing A awake and B following this spinner lure? And if you go for spinner lures, why didn't the game bloody tell me that sooner so I didn't have to faff around jigging for you the whole bloody time? Oh my gosh, you got reeled in hella quick though. Why? Zelda, okay, that's fine. Uh, I suppose actually we're not very far away from where I caught the Zalga the first time, so maybe that shouldn't be a surprise. Is 
someone was splashing and splashing over there. Let's see if we can interest you in a spinner. It seems we cannot. Okay, uh, the bluegill are not biting today. It seems. Actually, no one seems at all interested today, do they? You got the chicken! Okay, marvellous. Yi's house will not burn down. Uh... Come on, where's my little bluegill boys at? What's this? Is that a bluegill? I think that's a bass in front of me. I don't think that's a bluegill. Oh, someone's coming for my little spinner out there. Your room smells like chicken? There are worse smells to have. Right. Jump. <laughs> Streamlabs stream does that. Has no sense of, of dramatic timing. Flying bass. Yes, I, I, it is kind of quite amusing when they sort of jump out of the water and they sprawl like onto the end of your rod, and then the game takes a few minutes to figure out that you've actually caught the fish. Then, uh, Yi has apparently a good question. What is your good question, Yi? Pikes. What's my dream car? <sighs> That's kind of a tough one, in a way. Because it, it sort of depends on on lots of things, because like, I don't drive. And I'm not all that fussed about the possibility of learning to drive. Um... You know, like, it's a, it's a good skill to have at some point, but I'm not thinking like, oh, I have to, I have to learn to drive so soon, you know. I'm not thinking, gosh, my life would be so much better if I could drive. Right, whatever you are, you're interested in my bait. I'm hoping you're a blue girl. If you are, you're quite a big blue girl. 
Um, am I over 18? Am I over 18? Of course I'm over 18! Why no drive? Never got around to learning, and like I said, I've not been that... It's not been something that's concerned me greatly. Um, for most of my life I've lived in cities that are walkable and have passable enough public transport, so it's not a, a skill I've ever needed. You are a bluegill! Hello! Right, well we've done the mission. Um, I suppose in terms of dream car, like, if I, if I wanted a really fancy car, then like, I guess a Lambo etc, but honestly the car that would probably suit me best is something that's just kind of a bit rugged, plenty spacious, something like a, a Range Rover, Land Rover, that kind of area. But, you know, it would be a case of what one in that area is the most economical, what one is the most spacious, what one is, you know, I don't have answers to all of these questions. Um, and preferably, you know, are there electric ones available? Uh, you knew it would be a landover. I, I suppose it, it's not that difficult to, to guess, let's be honest. Um, I do like me uh, a bit of an exhibition. Because I, you know, if I sort of could, then I do feel like I'd be out and about in the wilderness more often. And so a good dependable car would really help with that. Uh, how long have we got? We've got half an hour of streaming time left. Uh, I suppose that's long enough to grab another quest. And he says, I have a Twin Turbo 79 series. I don't think I actually know what a 79 series is. Uh, <laughs> who, who makes a 79 series? Land Cruiser, okay, I see. Okay. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. I've done that one. It still won't let us do the Channel Catfish quest, and it still won't let us do the Lake Trout quest. So we are just here for Cockney Salmon. What have you found, ye? Cockney Salmon, big glitch. In my game or in your game? So loud. Oh. Oh, I'm very sorry for that. I didn't notice anything in OBS and I didn't notice anything on my side. Cockney salmon are found exclusively at higher elevation in Golden Ridge Reserve. They prefer the coldest rivers and streams, and while they can be found in lakes, they will mostly stick to the shallower shores. Which is not where I expected salmon to be, but okay. These bright red fish feed mostly on plankton, will also eat insects and crustacea. Look for them in cold waters at high elevation. Salmon strike the lure without much warning and do whatever they can. I'm assuming will do whatever they can to escape from the hook, including snagging a line or obstacles. They tend to use the flow of the water to their advantage when fighting. The cockney sound does not actually bite lures expecting a meal, but because it aggravates them. <laughs> To this end, lures that provoke this aggression are used to catch the fish. Get a medium grub or medium tube for your spinning tackle. Once you bought it from the shop, equip it using the quick menu or rod menu. Oh no, is this... Is this jigging only? Oh no. Right, it says, hang on, medium grab or medium tube. I think I have a medium tube already. No, I have a, that's a, that's a small grub. That's a medium tube, okay. Uh, also, I'm full. I need, to, I need to deposit something. Why is there, like, a whole separate section for reels and rods, and then everything else is lumped in together, huh? What's that about, game? Right, uh, storage. Let's 
deposit with the liver, I guess. Uh, One right on the rocks. Everyone starts somewhere, but anyone who's anyone starts with a greenhorn. This baby has a smoother learning curve than a minnow spin. Medium grab or medium tea. Hang on, I'm, I'm keep getting lost in this menu. Uh, so I've got a medium tube, and I need a medium grub. Okay, and I definitely need another um, rod. This majestic scepter of graphite and fiberglass is what they call the territory, and if it's just, just like that, you'll barely need to move a muscle. This baby does all the catching for you. Okay. Bait casting master blaster, boasting immense raw power. What do you need? No, I need bait casting. You. Uh, max line strength 25 kilos. Let's have a look at some of the, the weirder lines. So you can go up to. You can go up to 25 kilos. So I could try a fluorocarbon line or a braided line. Yes. Ah, I can't fit it in my bag. The dog just came in my room and but what the hell's he been eating? <laughs> oh dear, poor ye. Uh, okay, I need to find something else to put in storage. I just want to see my backpack in this view. Like, go away. Yeah, okay, let's put away the small grub. Because I'm not convinced that I won't get them confused. Uh, get your gear here. Soft plastics, nope, lines. This magenta scepter of graphite and fiberglass is what they call the heritage. And if it's just, just like you, you'll bear <laughs> it. This baby does all Oh the no, the worst kind of death. Death by being licked by a dog. Poor ye. We'll remember you. Uh, okay, let's go. Rods. Right, we're sending you up for Jighead. Oh no, oh, operation. I took the wrong one. Oh, we're sending you up for Jighead. A few years ago, I was working in a business that owned a million times the size of Taylor Sackles. This one's Taylor made for me, though. Oh god, what size thing do you need? Mm, 5 to 4 and 7 to 8, okay. He's gone, you had to turn to stop. Aww. It's because he loves you. This park has Rob. There isn't a day I don't wake up and thank my lucky stars on here. And then with the new line, seven tube. Okay. Right. Recommended gear equipped. Does the salmon not have a thing? Oh, the salmon's the only fish I've never caught. Crankbait, jerkbait, and grub. What the hell a crankbait and jerkbait, do I ask? Used to visit here as a kid. It's just like I remember it. For better or for worse. Here's what I've got. These. So apparently he will go for these. But I don't know what size to use. Um... Your dog doesn't like he boots with his nose, that's adorable. Um, okay, where are we headed? Oh, we're headed over here, which is not near anywhere I've been before. Uh, in which case we probably won't actually kind of make it there this stream, but we'll, uh, we'll get a good go on. So let's head to this point. We'll start here, we'll grab a car. We'll head to that point, and I'm assuming this is going to be a uh, lookout tower. 
It's a border collie mix with lab. Uh, border collies are the bestest dogs in the entire world. So your dog is one of the bestest dogs in the entire world by association. Uh, can I get over this tiny little bit of wood please? Thank you. Um, They are, however, also kind of one of the most difficult dogs because they're, you know, working dogs by, by nature. Oh my god, we've got quite a ways to drive, haven't we? Look. What is that? Ow. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. Is this a wonky broken tree that I need to report? Hmm. Apparently not. Oh god heck. Well, I guess all the trees around here are a bit wonky and broken, aren't they, actually? Look at them. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I heard the noise. There we go. Ah, a daisy. Hello. Half of them oxides done and dusted. I'll start revving up a girl Sally and she'll chew right through them. Dare I ask who Sally is? doesn't like the, the climb. Am I going the right way? I hope I'm going the right way. I am going the right way, okay. <laughs> Why would you say that, Yi? I'm now ten times more likely to crash for you having said that. Um, However, for whatever reason, I don't seem to be able to get much above 30 miles an hour. Which is going to make me less likely to crash. Because I can't speed. Did he stop? Look at the roads? I refuse. In fact, I'm going to close my eyes. Oh, I've hit something. What have I hit? I hit a sign. Okay. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> well, that side is is probably prophetic. Um, warning: your car will go crazy off a off a slope. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Dizzy. Welcome to my ASMR. Today, we're going to be crashing down a hill. That's actually how I'm going to start the next Hunter Call of the Wild stream, I hope you know. Because um, the plan is to sort of start the next Hunter stream with crashing off of a, off of a slope. Uh, where am I? Well, okay, I know where I am. Where am I supposed to be going? There should be a path over this way, apparently. Back. This path was not meant for cars. This path was meant for people on their little footsies. Uh, where am I going? I'm going to this thing. Let's just let's just ignore the path and we'll just go straight to it. That's going to be less painful. Oh, we've also found a little lake here. Anything is path for me. I mean, when you've got a car like this, see, this is why I want a Land Rover -y type car. When you've got a car like this, anything is a path for. 
Hello? Some plants. I hope you enjoy those plants, Clay. I think we might actually end off by doing a little spot of fishing in that little lake. Uh, once we have survey- God, this is a view! Wow! Wow. Such a pretty game. They know how to make a pretty game, these people. I'll give them that. I'm ashamed to say that during the 1870s, the natives were excluded from the park by a treaty that my ancestors dishonorably reneged on. Oh no. Drama. Can I? Let me out. Thank you. Right. <laughs> Gosh, these guys are everywhere. There's a lot of collectibles to pick up. Right, I saw a boy over there. Don't know what he wants. Um... Sorry, if I take off my setup... Okay, I will remember. How did you know the flower was a boy? Did you look? Uh, it told me right before I burnt the hell out of it. It was very insistent. Uh... Thank you, Arbas. Oh. OMG murder on camera. It's more likely than you think. Oh, there's a little boy over there. I wonder who the little boy is. He might be a Zalgo, he might be a yellow perch. He looks kind of that sort of area. Hello. Uh, if you're a yellow perch, let's try with some of the old bloodworm. Do I want to ask what that means, ye? Um. Also, let's not go around using the arsler in chat. That could be at all possible. Um, You're a little jumpy boy. I live in the UK. Yes, I do live in the UK. The home of everybody getting unreasonably upset about the Queen. Top G? Like Top Gear? Hmm. Whatever you are, you aren't obviously interested in my little blood one.
Say in mums you haven't heard of Andrew Tate. I don't think I've ever heard of Andrew Tate. I don't think I know who Andrew Tate is. Uh, okay. Leeches. Everyone loves leeches. Oh my god. <laughs> Everyone loves leeches that I can't cast. Am I gonna have to Google who Andrew Tate is? Kinda insulted. Are they a famous Australian? I know Adam Hills. He's a famous Australian. I mean, not personally, obviously. Uh, You're a babby bass. Okay, maybe that's what I saw jumping around earlier. Uh. Ah, uh, hey Buck. If you need me, I'll be down at the main outpost. See you soon. Welcome, Clay. You're Australian. You have an F idea. <laughs> <laughs> who Andrew Tate is. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not alone, Elspia. Um, I guess that's my homework from this stream, is finding out who this person is. I think you've managed to offend ye even more than I did. Is Andrew Tate the person who made the Tate modern? That's the only... the only Tates I know are Catherine Tate and the Tate modern and... There might be like a Tate Britain as well, possibly? If you're into art. <laughs> oh, sorry, Aspia. Um Why are you typing caps? I don't know, you. you. You do that sometimes. This is one of the things that I mean when I tell people you're the keenest of bees. Uh. Uh, no, I don't think I do know what you want to know. Unless you want to know why we don't all know who Andrew Tate is. Bouncy bass. Come on, come on. Come on. I should be adding these to my map actually, shouldn't I? Uh, oh, we're in a completely different place. Well, we're over here. Uh, largemouth bass. In this lake. Now, what was it they said? Which fish did they say? Why the hell are there fish in this? small ponds. Well, okay, it's funny you should ask that, Yi, because uh, one of the things that scientists have theorized about quite recently is how fish spread from one river system or lake to another river system or lake. And the best theory that they have at the moment is that... Uh, can I get you on the size 7 rod? I can. The best theory they have at the moment is that when something like a heron or another fish feeding bird uh, eats a pregnant fish, some of the eggs are able to actually just pass straight through their digestive system, and then 
when they defecate near another water body that they've landed at, the eggs pass into this new water body and hatch, and so the fish species spread. I.e., basically, fish might work kind of like fruit. <laughs> that's, that's my summary at the end there. But the basic gist of it is, yeah, they get eaten and then the, the, the eggs get pooped out. Emotes. I'll have to have a, a fish equals fruit emote. Oh, it looks like someone's coming for my bait, possibly. No, wait, that's someone who's nowhere near my bait. What are you? You're not a bass. No fish. Interested in some of these? I wonder if there's alga. Hmm. Let's throw a minnow on. See if you're more interested in that. Um, oh, sorry, yeah. I know it's not easy for me to show you because I can't just like wiggle my cursor at it or something. But uh, if you have a look at where my bobber is now, there was a little boy right near it. I'm hoping he's going to come back. The lesbian fish ye. See? This is why I'm the pro fisherman and you're not. <laughs> I got another sentence I can't say with a straight face. Um, but we'll push though. This is why I'm the pro fisherman and you're not, see? You're not thinking of, of the details like this. What if they're all gay fish ye? Uh, I tell you what the gay fish don't love apparently is minnows. Um, they are wholly uninterested in them in fact. Okay, uh, trout love spoons. Right, we discovered that earlier. Okay, let's try me little spoon. Uh, Wait, how do you know what I'm doing while, while I'm muted? I'm muted! <laughs> That's the point of me being muted, is that you can't hear me eating my chips. Well, they're actually mini cheddars this time, but still. Um, do they have mini cheddars in Australia? They should if they don't. You can still hear me? Oh no. Oh no. Is 
is my microphone mute not working? Or is Aspie trolling me? <laughs> I'll tell you what's another um now is the fact that no one is biting on my spoon. I guess we found a trout free lake. Um Oh no. I'll know to the trout and I'll know to Alspie not trolling. Um So were you able to he hear me eating all of my chips and stuff yesterday? Were you able to hear me eating my biscuits this whole time? That over there was definitely not a heckin... That was definitely not a bass. There's something else in this lake, goddammit. I will find out what it is if it kills me. Uh... I think I may have, have, have overshot when pulling that back. What are you? Maybe I should walk over there. Maybe that's a better way to find out what it is. Okay. Blood filled chips? Why would my chips be filled with blood? Why would chips be filled with anything? You, you, tell me what you are. Reveal to me your secrets. Are you a yellow perch? Are you coming interested in my thing? Oh, I think you are a yellow perch. What do you mean, tell you you'll do that for me? You're the one who's getting them wrong in the first place, you gosh darn it. It is a yellow perch. Amazing. Okie dokie, uh, it's about six minutes to. It's probably a good time for us to wrap up there, I think, with uh, with this little perchy boy. I have discovered the mystery of the tiny lake. Um, uh, and that is, that is happiness enough for me. Uh, so, if you have enjoyed watching, uh, please do consider dropping a follow if you're here with me on Twitch. Uh, I want to say a big thank you to all the people, Auspia, Yi, BG, who spoke up in chat. It's lovely to have you here. But if you just want to lurk, you are valued too, I promise. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, then don't forget to drop a like, and maybe consider subscribing if you want to see more content like this. Uh, you can find me on Twitter, at Demise. Don't go to my Instagram, there's nothing there, I promise. Uh, all right. Uh, I will see. I will be back tomorrow. Who knows what with? Not me. Uh, but until then, I'm gonna miss you all lots. Uh, toodles. Bye.